Hello guys, in the last class we came across a function called the print function which we use to write something to the screen. But there are some features I want us to study about the print function. The print function takes five arguments, namely the value which can be a set of values, it doesn't really matter. Then the second one is the sep, we start for separation, the end, the file and the flush. So by default, this separation is set to an empty space. The end is set to a new line. The file is set to system.standardoutput. That is what this means. While the flush is set to false. So in this class, I want us to take this argument one after another. So to start, I will declare four variables. A1, just to an integer 1. A2, A3 and um, a4 okay so the four variables they are just holding integers one to four so down here if i go ahead and print to the screen this time i will supply only the value argument so i'm printing a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma a4 and when i hit enter you see one two three and four have been printed to the screen with a space in between okay one space two one space three one space four now the space is not by default. Remember I said the separation is set to an empty space. So if I go ahead and print the same thing to the screen, permit me to copy this Ctrl C on my keyboard, then down here Ctrl V. Then this time I'm supplying another argument which is the separation. So X I P, I will set it equal to the string. Let's use underscore. Now if I hit enter, you see that I have one, two, three, four written to the screen again. But this time separated by an underscore so if i copy this ctrl c then down here i paste this time i want to separate by a forward slash sign so if i close it up here and i hit enter now you see i have one slash two slash three slash four okay that's all about the separation so if i paste this again then here i want to supply um the next argument which is the end so comma separable and here i supply this next argument end and i will set it equal to a percentage sign remember separation is an underscore then end percentage sign so if i hit enter then you see after printing the standard one to three four to the screen a percentage sign is printed so if i fix it again and this time i'm ending this with uh, i'm ending it with let's say dollar sign and I hit enter you see dollar sign is printed at the end of the screen okay so the last argument for the print function no the first one is the file okay and the file defaults to system dot standard output well system dot standard output is the screen okay and the screen is the standard output so whenever you are using the print function definitely you want to write something to the screen but there are situations you know as we go down the programming line we go down this video series you find out that there's some situation when where you don't want to write to the screen maybe you want to write to a file so the file now you need to kind of specify the file you want to you know print to you understand so it's kind of technical i've not gotten to that extent so when the time is right we talk about the file argument so the last one is flush and flush by default is set to false okay so flush is a bit technical but simply put flush ensures that the output that is buffered goes to its destination and when the time is right we'll talk about the flush argument as well all right now you know what each argument of the print function stands for you can get more artistic using the print function now thank you for joining us in today's class don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you in the next class and bye for now